We have nothing like funny for the intro. Previously on Basement Discourse, we shit on Brady for an entire fucking episode. And then we also talked about Microsoft buying Blizzard. And that's, that was it, right? Yep, that was that pretty was much it. it. That was an hour of our That's life. pretty much all we talked about for an hour and a half and then put it on the internet. Yep. Yep. Perfect. All right. Welcome, basement dwellers. I actually used the term this time. Fuck yeah. Nailed it. I'm Jace. That guy's Brady. That guy's Justin. Wait. I can never see how much of me's Dude, cropped in this you, fucking camera. And the thing is, you're pointing in directions and we're never in the same spot. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, we are Brady this time because we use my footage. So oh. he gets it right. He can just move it around while he's editing anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I can, but it. I choose not to because it's way funnier when Justin gets it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as far as today goes, one thing that I wanted to discuss was loosely based around me just watching. Throw it to your fucking self. You're like, yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> and uh, guess what? My topic. <laughs> well, I am host. This, Hello, me. This is really your fault, Brady, for making me host. <laughs> So now the host rotate. does the host. Yeah, well, too bad. Apparently, I made your dog fucking host, so that's fine. <laughs> He'd fucking host the shit out of this. He'd love it. <laughs> you know what? Our view rate would go up so fucking high <laughs> if we had a dog in frame. <laughs> Wait, we both have a dog each. We both. We all have a dog each. We'll just do a podcast bring... where we just have our dogs. I could bring a. Uh, yeah, Sam and Cam and just have our voices. Like Jace, voice he said both because <laughs> yours isn't a dog. <laughs> don't, don't. Wow. Justin's dog would dominate your dog. Yeah, dude. Brady. And... <laughs> a She's fucking awesome half too. Roddy dog. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll get the, um, uh, I'll get get the snake out one night. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, get your snake out. We'll all get our snake out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'll definitely push the views. The views are either going to go up or really far down. <laughs> Put that on the uh, basement discourse. Guys- uh, we're we're recording for YouTube tonight, not OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the back. Yeah, so, so there was something you wanted to fucking talk about, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apparently, but uh, we're not allowed to. We've got to talk about dogs and getting our penises out. <laughs> this is great. Um, so Welcome to quality content. <laughs> <laughs> content. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I recently watched the trailer for the new WWE 2K22 game. I'm a big wrestling game nerd, um, as some of some of people know. Um, as some people know, um, I just love those sorts of games because I can create my own character and then just throw people around. And I used to be a huge wrestling nerd. Now, a bit of backstory with this series is it had 2K19, which was a really well-liked game. Then 2K20 came out. And it fucking bombed because it was like 2K19, but it was buggy. Your character would like get stuck in the ropes and thrown out of the ring just from walking around. And it was an absolute mess. And they'd cut half the features of 2K19 out of it. So it had this terrible, terrible reception. So then they went back to their roots a little bit and did like a bit of an arcade game. I can't remember what it was called, but it was just a, you know, Cheap little fun arcade WWE game. Fine. Then they've now come back after their year off for WWE 2K22. And they dropped that trailer, which I showed to you guys. Yeah. And I'm a bit concerned because like, like Justin commented when he was watching it, it looks fucking janky. The animations look It looks whack, bad. dude. Like it looks old as fuck. Like it just looks yeah, so that super was- outdated. That was going to be my comment, but, but because I had less experience, I was like, oh, maybe this is kind of like a, you know, people like some of the janky shit in Skyrim. I, I thought, oh, maybe that's that. But now <laughs> that you've mentioned it, broke. like, yeah, it's kind of weird because there was some moments where I was like, oh, the way the camera panned and the way the sound effect worked were great. But the animation <laughs> itself that I was looking at was fucking awful. Like, it some looked of like look- the character had like a gap between them and the person they were holding yeah and then they slammed them on the ground it was yeah it looked bad so this is part of what i wanted to talk about right is that like they should be picking their premium shots right you would be wanting to get the shit that looks absolutely crisp for this game 
Yeah, so and, where, which way have they fucked it up then? Have they got really bad shots? Like, has whoever's done this trailer is just stuffed up and gone, oh, I crap, know. I don't know enough about this and I've grabbed some shitty shots? Or are they the best shots? Because if they're the best shots, this well, game's no, in actually, fucking trouble before it While we're on that out. topic, why does everything, and this, this comes down to, like, Hollywood movies, games, anime, everything, why do they feel the need? Is it, do they think that's what the fans want to release this constant stream of update trailers about what's coming out and it's not finished and we just watch it and go well that looks shit or like like we we've already spoke about the fucking elder scrolls the next trailer where it's just like a pan over some mountains and then the title i'm like (laughs) what's the fucking point like that's not that's not revealing anything right but everything does it every movie does it like half the time i watch a movie and i'm like i've seen 80 percent of this fucking movie in 30 second clips well there's a whole like culture around like commenting on movies that are what we call trailer movies and it's mm. a movie that everything Literally that's good everything. yeah everything that's good about the movie is in the trailer and but it's the same with games now right like we're seeing that with games like people are like here's a game it's nowhere near fucking finished but you can have a look at it and then we look at it and we go well that looks trash talk shit about well, you know what that's probably it right they want to build that like internet clout. at least there's yeah like even bad press is good press i suppose well but, i don't know about that like, i don't know man yeah this this game looks broke as shit like going back to the w like the actual yeah. topic that we started with this game well, I, I want to talk about fun. general topics but sure let's go back to the super niche <laughs> but, fucking wrestling nerds oh um, dude yeah <laughs> niche. this is almost no, as big as D&D. that's actually funny because like there's a shitload of anime fans who love wrestling like it's a yeah. big thing for some reason. I think because it's like live action over the topness. Yeah, I never it, got into it, it, but everyone tells me to. It's absurdity. Um, it's a bit of fun, and it's sort of like a fighting game, in a sense. Like it's just got all these unique traits. It's really kind of interesting how mm. it works. But like, there's so many things about these games that like should be able to make it better. So one of my big problems with the trailer is it looks like the entire trailer is shot at like 30 frames a second. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. And like, so it's I don't know if they're almost to, like, like they're aiming for chaotic. Like they're just like, oh, this is on the scene. You know, we're, we're behind the scenes of this actual thing. And, you know, it's like the, the new way that we're going to design this is that it's super janky, like, you know, real life cameras and stuff moving around the ring and... Or yeah, did they uh, just run out of time. Like, you know, you hear well, a like, lot of companies doing that lately. Run maybe, out of time. Maybe it is beta footage. But we have to send this because this is what we have. Let's sell it. Like, this is what we but have, why, guys. Why do you think that is? That's that, that was part of why I was talking in general as well. Like, why do you think people feel the need to release trailers of stuff that is incomplete as fuck? Because it's so, 2K22. They can't release yeah. it in 2K24. So they have a very limited time to get this thing out. It, it, it's actually got a release date in either March or May, one of the end month, months. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it's coming soon. Like if, if it comes out any later than that, it, then it's you know it's too late for yeah. a, for a, a, a you know like like FIFA doesn't come out once every two years. It comes out every year at a certain time. I'm sure. Like it doesn't come. Do you out think that's the, the problem though? Is that I, I think that's a big part of the problem, right? I got a feeling like, they ran out of time. Like they just fucked up yeah uh, that's that's what i'm feeling and like they must have used beta footage but like it could also be like the world situation sorry like it could have been yeah yeah. part of like that interrupted k though dude yeah i I know like but like could be this this is like being like oh well you know it's only Microsoft. I can kind of understand why they <laughs> haven't had time to finish this game in two years. And the thing is, no, like, no, you don't, I really don't need mean to be time. in an office I mean... right, to work on a game. Like, you can work from home to work on games. Like, you can take your hardware home yeah. and work on that. It's not That's like, like... Co- cooking a steak. You can't, you can't cook a steak <laughs> at home and be serving it to people somewhere else. But, like, you could do That's that, actually... that shit at home. Like, a really good point. I was going to ask you, Jace. Um, and thanks for that one, Justin. Uh, the... I don't know how to cook a steak. Sorry. No, no, no. In the trailer, they're like making a big deal out of filming the, uh, I guess, the talent doing, performing these moves and actions and they're filming them and blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure they did do that once upon a time, but do they need to do it now? Surely yeah, they've yeah, got they, a they fucking still... library of these things. But and at what this you've stage, got to remember, all they're doing is a character skin. Like, surely they're not redoing this every time. Well, what? Okay, every so year. Brady, you're a skater, right? 
Yeah, yeah. So th- this is a great way to put it, right? So every year when these WWE games or any game like that comes out, they have a whole new roster of wrestlers. Mm. And so each wrestler is different in the same way that like each skater is different. So like, you know, you watch Tony Hawk throw a kickflip versus Rodney Mullen, completely different styles. But is, agree, is Tony but Hawk they... going to throw down a different different kickflip the next game though? I think that's what Yeah, Brady's I was going to say, well, like, are they so you've got actually Kane going filming, from... like if you've got two characters in that game doing the identical move, it, it's is the an identical... placement slightly different or is it just a yeah, skin applied no, no, to the no, same no, movement? It, it's, no, it's definitely, it's different, like definitely the, different. Oh, it if, is. If yeah. you ever play these wrestling games, that like when you go to create your own character and you pick a move set based on their move sets, there are literally like tens of thousands of different moves you can do, and all yeah, of them okay. are animated fully. Um, okay, so that makes that makes sense. But now, why on earth, if you're going to do that, if you're going to commit to that, do it every year? Well, because most of the time they just copy the library from the previous year. And then all they've got to do is update the motions for the That's new. That's what wrestlers. I'm saying, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> now you're just agreeing with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. But so, so they they can do that from a year. So they to do keep basis. a library, yes, yes. But hmm. this one is supposed to be the refresh. It, it's ground up. It hits oh, different okay. yeah what? that's the that, because right. that's literally yeah. the words they say hits different. they went with the fucking internet it hits yeah. different mm-hmm. yeah it's as bad as like what are all these we live in a society it hits no, different that's a, no we live in a society is a great meme <laughs> leave that alone what's the other meme what's there's a heap of big ones right now um they seem to be like going ballistic I don't know what it is. I think um, everyone's been trapped inside way too long, so everyone's like become little weird people. Uh, oh, I like the um, the uh, before something was invented ones. They're pretty funny. They're like I have no idea what you're talking. About. No. <laughs> I, have you seen those memes where it's like it shows like something that's kind of like when you said like the people were like being inside for too long. Were you just referring to yourself? Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> No, no, he's just but, dobbing on himself. So there's like now. a depression one, right? So there's like um, a picture of people like all depressed, and they're like, depression was invented instead of like they like twist it instead of uh, was discovered. But they're like, depression was invented in like 18, blah, 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 blah. And then there's like a, the next picture is like the world before it was invented. It's like people skipping with rainbows in the background and shit. Yeah, and I definitely like, have not seen no those. You've not seen those memes? No, oh, that's so good because they find the most obscure things just like the world before social interaction or something like that. Like it's really stupid and it's so funny. Yeah. yeah right. Well, oh. <laughs> the young kid talks about young kid things. Yep. Fucking. I am the youngest so on this show, hip. aren't I? So hip. Yeah. So hip, bro. I'm not. Typical. Th- He's shit, into the animes believe- and fitness <laughs> and skateboarding. He spikes his hair up. Imagine having hair. This is great. <laughs> Genuine, imagine having hair. <laughs> Genuinely, like throughout most of my life, I tend to be the oldest, but like secretly the oldest because we're wearing masks all the time now and I get ID'd because I'm like, suck like, out of here. You get ID'd yeah, yeah. now. Dude, I that's get ID'd. Whack. So I stopped getting ID'd like six months before COVID and now I've been ID'd consistently since. I would have ID'd you regardless. Like, yeah, 100%. you look like a child. Yeah. Or it looks like you look at the person that's either buying the alcohol for the child or the child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he's just turned 18 and he's going to get his 16-year-old mates some booze. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Grown his first goatee. First. I'm not... first hair on ball. This shit came in when I was 28, I'll have you know. When is it, it hasn't gonna... changed since then. But like, <laughs> yeah. like... When's the it rest just... of it coming in? <laughs> probably when I'm 48. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably going to be it. It was weird though, because it was like one day I woke up and I was like, I'm going to let it happen. And then like three weeks later, I shaved it off and everyone was like, why would you do that? And I was like, because it wasn't very good. And they're like, yeah, but it's worse without. (laughs) (laughs) Don't ever do that again. (laughs) The more of that face we can see, the worse it gets. (laughs) Well, I was so happy when you put the mask on. (laughs) (laughs) Is there a reason I started audio (laughs) podcasting? Yeah, Yeah, so we can shit on you. Let's film it. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Who said let's film it? I don't remember saying that. Like I I would have, but Mm. I don't remember. I don't don't know why we did. 
I don't remember I that discussion because I was like, how do we even let's get do here? a podcast. And we were like, well, <laughs> we can't be in the same room, so let's Zoom it. And then it was like, ah, we may as well put it on YouTube. And we have way more fucking hits on YouTube than we do on audio. <laughs> That's because we make other content there. And that now we're true. just talking about, you know, our content, our minor successes. How much fun is that? So wrestling, are we, are we yeah, done yeah, with so, that? Or what? So going back to that to some degree, like mm. the whole industry is notorious for a thing um, that was coined like in the early 2000s called bullshotting, which was where you would go out of your way to make your game look bullshit good. Like to the point where you would be showing shit that literally does not exist in your game yeah. as a preview. And I people would later that. get called out about it. Yep. Which yeah, yeah, actually yeah. does take me to another topic that we were going to talk about at some point. But like fucking watchdogs. They had that E3 trailer that looked gorgeous. And you could see like the little like umbrellas rippling in the wind and stuff like that. And yeah. then the game came out and it was like GTA 4 graphics at fucking best. Well, like before, Is that before why every even game that came now. Out? Yeah, man. No. <laughs> Before, before that even happened, like I remember the wrestling games back in the day, they just, because they couldn't get there and they couldn't bullshit that, they just went with the real life trailers. So they would just get the actual wrestlers and do a real life trailer and then get all the spotlights and get all the crazy cool angles and all the rest of it and cram in as much cool action-y shots as you can from actual wrestling. And that was the trailer before they could upsell it to, here's what our bullshit game is prior to that. Yeah. So like that, that was where it started. Like they, they would do it with well, the... Kick is yeah, every game trailer now has that little tag at the bottom though that says like not actual, actual, actual footage or whatever. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that that came in because of how popular the whole commenting about bullshotting is. Yeah. Um, and like, like, like you were saying, term. yeah, uh, yeah. you can credit Penny Arcade for that one. Um, hey. But yeah, um, it it's notorious throughout the whole industry. But how do you make it so bad? when everyone else seems to do the exact opposite. Like, we let's take it with where you wanted to go with this, Justin. Let's talk fucking Elden Ring. Yeah. So yep. I, I watched the preview because you're like, oh, yeah, let's talk about Elden Ring. And I was like, I don't mind Dark Souls games, but or like from software games, I should say. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't really have an issue with them. I'm just really bad at them. But watching the gameplay footage... It looked like, firstly, gorgeous. Visually, it looks very impressive. Yeah. The However, environments look great. Yeah. I, I, do, I do like the environments. They look and the, cool. Um, I saw a fight with a dragon at one point, and that looked fucking cool. Yeah. However, the actual combat itself looked like it was just cut and pasted out of Dark Souls 3. Yeah, 100%. It, it and... legit looks the same. Like, Yeah, it's just... I think the only difference is you're on a... I don't know if you get a horse on Dark Souls, but it seems like the horse is no, a big deal. Like so. A lot of the gameplay I've seen is just him on a horse, and then you ride around on the horse shooting things. Like, you just do circles around them. And that, to me, just seems like back in the day when you were playing Skyrim, hiding in a bush, shooting them with an arrow. Like, it's just oh, yeah. that over it's and over It's a little and over less, over like, again. folded straight lines than Skyrim, but it reminded me a lot of it, just, like, the tone of, like, every scene. I did enjoy the way that, like, the monster jumped at him. I thought it was heaps more dynamic than what you see in it Skyrim. It looks great, but... yeah. But, like, apart from that, it's just numbers versus numbers. Like, it just seems like you are just, you're just playing... Like, yeah, but a... what do we want? Like, what, what, what more do you... I don't know, man. Like, like, I really want to feel those hits. It's not just a sword slicing through object, which equals 220 points coming down a, off of a bar. It's not an odd call like, from a DM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the tabletop know, RPGs. Man. I'm sick of RPGs being all like, <laughs> oh, I want to role play. It just like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like they're really hitting their, I, their mark I, there. I don't know. Something I do know what you mean, though. I'm not going to disagree that it didn't, you know, he hit this... Uh, creepy looking giant headed thing it was really well uh done like the art of the the villainous thing yeah um but when he hit it he hit it with like a what looked like a light attack and it fucking smashed into the ground and then he did this like charged big hit on it and it barely like moved and i was like what the fuck is this like yeah. like i think what you said like seem to react what like, actually react. happens to yeah what actually happens to them when they're struck seems yeah. to be almost random because like you, you said it's a numbers play, game um... But the you dynamics ever played are Lord like of the Rings? Whatever. Lord of the Rings Two Towers. You guys ever play that? 
back in the day? I that... may have. But I, I played you play one like of the... Legolas, Aragorn, and Gimli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I one I of the Lord of the Rings them. games, and it was like, but they were like instance games, like uh, like like Pokemon, like turn based and shit. Nah, this was like regular like adventure sort of stuff. So you'd actually run around as them and do things like defend. Yeah, I think I've played that. Defend game the once. tower and stuff like that, like fire oh, okay. deep and things. And yeah, definitely out and haven't done that one. You really felt the hits is what my point of that is. So if anyone who's played that will understand what I mean, like, you know, you uppercut something and it actually goes up and then you take it down with another slice and you hit it on the ground and it reacts. Like each hit is designed in a way where the thing you're hitting is going to react to it. Whereas like a lot of the hits were just like, and it wouldn't even react at all or it would be like, uh, and move in some janky way. Which yeah. Wouldn't happen. And I don't know, like it might be the style of game it is, and maybe I just don't like those games. I've never played the Dark Souls games just because I've heard they're infuriating and I don't have enough time for that. But I don't know, it just didn't seem to like hit the mark for me. So yet another disappointing trailer and gameplay. So, video. so one thing I should state that might change your perception of it is that Dark Souls games are notoriously hard because you have such a small health pool and your enemies have huge fucking health pools. Yeah. And that's that's where the numbers game part becomes a bit of a problem for someone like yourself watching it. But I totally agree even still about the impact of you attacking something. Like yeah. watching that dragon fight, right? The dragon hit the guy at least like three or four times and he gets fucking yeeted across the map. But you'd think... A dragon attacking a dude would do an arseload more than just yeet him over that way. Yeah. Like, that should nearly be a, like, one-shot kill. Like, you should have to have some mad agility to be able to... It like, should definitely, definitely hit different. Yeah. It just... Fuck <laughs> 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 it. Got up. him. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like... It's been done. <laughs> I, I get Nailed that it. that's the style of the game, and I might just be missing the point myself. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of the impact is lost. And I, I like a challenge where your health bar is low, theirs is high, and you've got to work out the, the thing they do. And Yeah, but the reactions, like you said, sequence. like this... It just doesn't feel this... like you're immersed in it when you're hitting brick walls all the fucking time and they're, like, and... moving in ways that they shouldn't really react in, you know. It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem well enough put together for Actually, 2022. Actually, you know what? Though. I will pull this back to the you being a DM thing. So despite obviously when we do the tabletop thing yeah we we strike an enemy and it does points does hit points but also like you tend to maybe it's a uniquely you thing or maybe it's a good dm thing where oh, we strike so. <laughs> where, where we strike does have an impact on that villain right so yeah, you're not sure. like it's flavor, you struck yeah. him in the eye uh he took four health points you're like no, 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 you struck him in the eye. Yes, he only took 20 points of health. However, he's now blind on that side. Yeah. Like, so that, maybe... that's a flavor thing, and it's not a rule in DD to do that, but that's that is the difference. Exactly. It fucking should be. It makes a lot a of sense. Bit. Like, yeah. Yeah. The problem with that is people get way too into it and they're like, I'm going to slit this guy's throat. And you're like, well, he has 160 hit points. So one slit of a throat is not going to do enough, but sure, go for it. And then they're like, oh, not 20. And you're like, cool. So you did 12 damage. They're like, yeah, but I slit his throat, so he's dead. You're like, he still has 160 hit points, though. Yeah, you grazed yeah. his throat. Yeah, you yeah, you're like nicked his throat, even with the nat 20. Like, you know, don't overthink this shit. But I mm. like the idea of being like, I'm going to aim for his throat, or maybe it's his Achilles tendon because this, this thing's a giant. And over a course of a few hits, you actually take him down. And yeah, sure, he drops to a knee on that. Right. You know what I mean? I, I, like, I think that is a you thing in a way, though, because I have heard of DMs being like, no, no, you Real get to dicks. choose yeah. the action attack and then as a result, points come off. Not the dynamicness that we played games with you where it's, yeah, it's like I, we're I, doing it's, like it's all slash it's all to the fucking ankles and shit. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, no, it's for emotion. It does matter. But, but I yeah, think that's, uh, that's what this game I, is. I think the game has potential, mm -hmm. though. Like, if like, they clean definitely. those things up, I'm, I'm keen, because it looks like a prettier Skyrim. It ain't but, getting cleaned up. This is it. It's done. It's out in, like, what, oh, really? two weeks? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's out in. By the time this episode comes out, we'll probably be like five days away from release. Yeah, so, yeah. So, right. Like, I'm not going to do think... the math, but it's going to be close. So, yeah, it's done. I, I think all in all, though, like I don't think it's inherently going to be a bad game. I just don't think it's going to be my sort of game. 
I, I agree. I think people are really going to enjoy it and it looks beautiful. And I'm probably going to pick it up anyway, just to see the environments because they look really interesting. And some of the monsters look pretty wild. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to enjoy playing it just because it's just going to be numbers and yeah, that sort of a game. It's just not as immersive as I'd like. I, I kind of no, feel that's like just me. Um, games like, uh, for lack of a better word, like, or for better examples anyway, like God of War and like Shadow of the Colossus and stuff work so much better for having Correct. like giant enemies. Agree. Yeah. Or yeah. enemies like, you guys I, see I've the only part ever where played the... that giant, like the stone statue guy, and he like hits him in the ankles as he rides past on the horse, and then the the giant falls to the ground and he just kills him basically in one hit. Like that that was the only dynamic sort of looking thing I saw in Elden Ring actually happen. But I was like, still, it just didn't look right as opposed yeah. to like God of War ish, you know, cinematic style kills and you know, and the the Shadow of Colossus, which was just an awesome game for its time. I think I was like oh five. Yeah, it was on old. PS two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if anyone hasn't played that, I would I would actually put that on the recommendation table for sure. Yeah, uh, put the link in the description there, Bray. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about how shit that is. Um, yeah, I, I would check that out because they brought out a HD version of it for like the PS4, Xbox One, I think, a little while back, and that was sick. So Yeah, I'll have to see if there was a PC version at some point. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was a really cool game. And I think the way they deal with giant enemies is really cool because yep. the way you get impact is you're so small and they've got weak spots so you've got to traverse them and be agile and get out of the way whereas it looks like it took that normal dynamic from dark souls where you just constantly roll yeah um yeah and how do you actually how do you feel about that when it's done in a way that's just length of time so like i've, I've talked extensively about how much i love final fantasy 15 but there was the tortoise enemy, which is uh, in Never fairness, it, but okay. optional enemy. I mean, I'm sure you know what it is. Nonetheless, it's basically I'm, I'm a mountain that fucking moves. That's a tortoise. And uh, what I loved, I literally burst out laughing and fell on the fucking ground because this optional enemy. And as you walk up to it, one of your party members, as this mountain moves, uh, it's the guy who's always like, I've come up with a new recipe. Yeah. yeah. He turns around and he's just like, knock, do you really have to do this? Because this thing is like, it takes a step and the whole fucking place just shakes and you're like, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm going to take down a fucking mountain. <laughs> but so, when you're fighting it, it has weak points, right? The mm -hmm. same as those games. But it's really just the attack patterns don't change all that much. It's just a length of time fight. Like you just, you just have to have enough potions, enough good dodges, and then learn how to do it and just keep fucking going for like, I think before they did an update where you could use better weapons against it, it that fight for like the best speedrunners was still 30 minutes. Yeah, so just, ugh, for one I th fight. <laughs> I think this comes back to my thoughts on it being like, well, you know, it's probably just that Elden Ring's not for me because yeah. being a big Final Fantasy nerd, I, I remember the days of versing all the weapons and how yeah. long a fight with a weapon could take. And certain fights against certain bosses, if you are either ill-prepared or under-leveled, could literally take multiple hours to finish. Damn. Oh, That's yeah. And you, you, you don't even have to go straight Final Fantasy here. Essentially, anything Square Enix. Like, even uh, Kingdom Hearts games would do that to you yeah. quite badly. If you, if you came up against a boss and you weren't ready and you didn't, yeah, that sucked. You would be going for a long fucking time. But like in the earlier Final Fantasies as well, you didn't see any sort of recoil or anything from enemies. It was just you'd attack, you would literally see numbers come up on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, well, I did that much damage. He's got 8 trillion health to go. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> so in that sense, like if you were comparing what we saw of Elden Ring to like Final Fantasy VII combat for combat, Elden Ring looks a hell of a lot better, but I would still take Final Fantasy VII any day. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's my internal bias. Though. Okay, like, so no, no, it's not necessarily. The, the thing about Final Fantasy games, though, is you give a fuck about the characters. Yeah, yeah but maybe you're doing... Yeah. But maybe you give a fuck about maybe the world we do. or something maybe like we that do. in we, Elden we Ring. We won't know yeah. 
for a little bit longer. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I have doubts, but this, yeah, it could all just be a me thing. There, there was a lot it of looks... hype for this, so it's really been built up on a pedestal. So for me, it's kind of like, I don't know anymore, but we'll wait and see. I, it I looks good, nonetheless. It. it looks great. They've <laughs> yeah. done a great job. Well done, kids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kids. All the kids. <laughs> all the kids over at From Software, good work. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, and with that, we should probably jump to a break arena. In a world gone mad, where Master Chief and Covenant run rampant, where heroes are born and villains are defeated, there is a small patch of grass. Within this grass stands a hero so small he could be Brady's testicles. Schnalo. Play as a snail during the intergalactic battle and try and overthrow both sides in the densest plot in Halo's history. Schnalo, the ultimate weapon and undiscovered antagonist, will finally have his day. Fuck. All right, we're back. Go. Um, hand uh, it cool. to Brady. He's got things to say. Yeah, no, I have a shitload to say, but I have, uh, funnily enough, I have things that relate to both of your fields from my field, which is really cool. So the two things I wanted to talk about is uh, Vox. Is it Vox? Vox Machina. Machina, yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, Pokemon Legends of Arceus. The reason I want to talk about both of these is because they're what I'm into right now. It's current times. But also, this is my field clashing with both of your fields, which is hilarious because it's like anime cross gaming. Pokemon well, was a manga to begin with, so it's anime. Really? I thought it was a game to start with. I thought no, it was a game and first. then the anime was a spin off. Manga, game, anime. Damn. Pretty sure. I'm Googling this. And it was but anyway, weird because because the manga, <laughs> like Pokemon Adventures, it was like Poly Wag, the middle one. Poly World, maybe. Was Poly his World. like Yeah, Poly yeah. World. Yeah. And then yeah, it was really strange. Um ah. oh my god. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so just bright. became the light. And then Vox Machina, for those who don't know, which you should know by the time this comes out, is uh an animated version of a D&D game, the most famous online D&D game, I think is fair to say. Yeah, I'd Critical say so. Role. It's basically the first season of Critical Role animated. I have gripes with one of these things and less with the other, which is, uh, uh... yeah. <laughs> We've already it's, made uh... all the Souls fans mad, so uh, yeah, let's, let's go, let's destroy some more fandoms. Light them let's, up. let's prep ourselves. Vox Machina uh, animated is plenty entertaining, all good. What I don't enjoy about it. So what I did like is that they stuck true to like, if anybody has watched it, and of course they fucking have our Christmas yeah. special. And at this stage, probably course, at least everyone. a couple episodes of our D and D show. Of course, everyone. But don't rush that. I have to edit that shit. <laughs> Fair enough. So, guys, if you haven't watched four episodes of it, Jace fucking sucks. <laughs> but uh, but uh, what I did like about it is they kept all the way people talk in it. There's a lot of swearing in it, despite it being a fantasy. Like, obviously, fantasy things are usually set in medieval times. Yeah, the way they people talk never mo- swore back then. Yeah, but they swore differently, right? These people are saying, like, fuck and, like, all that sort of stuff. What I don't like about it is that it is essentially just a dirty animation they don't have the D elements apart from the fact that they're in a fantasy realm present okay there's no so, they don't so do how like, would you I do don't that, ex- i don't expect them to pause for a roll I, I i understand <laughs> that that would ruin shit but at the same time the way things played out is just a story playing out so none of that none of D&D-ness the feel yeah. is there like and and maybe i'm alone in this and and you guys haven't seen it yet so i don't want to do any spoilers you guys watch it when you can um and the same for our audience members if you are some of the minority who haven't seen it because by the time this shit comes out it's probably decently in but i do feel like they got away from D D a little bit too far it's animated nice like it all looks good it's a little generic american cartoon like it all looks very avatar um which is fine but it's not overly pretty there's nothing last to airbender about. or james last Cameron. airbender okay last yeah. airbender. there's nothing to like <laughs> brag about during it like you're like oh it does the job that's your feeling about the animation in this uh there's a little bit of cgi which i have feelings about cgi in anime it's fine if it's done well it's 
bad if it's done awfully, um, which it often is. But mostly my gripe is that it doesn't feel like D&D. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like it would have been okay. a good thing to do to make it feel more D and D. Like but I think they might have stretched away from that because like during its time for the critical role, I think especially during like the second campaign, they had a lot of people, like a fan people were making animated stuff on it. So yeah. like during the ad breaks or like extra content would come out and it would be all like animated episodes and stuff. So if you like, go onto their YouTube channel, you can find all these like old school drawn up animated things that are kind don't, of don't 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 plug like, a much more famous YouTube channel <laughs> yeah. than us. What are you talking about? We we'll, we'll just milk their credibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, just I don't know. hashtag critical role on the episode <laughs> when it goes up. Flawless. Yeah. Nailed it. I don't know. Maybe they were just trying to stay as far away from the DVD Yeah, I, I don't like, hate it. Look, it's entertaining like, as fuck. It's good. You guys should definitely watch it. Uh same for all our listeners. But I felt like they got away from D&D and upset me just a little bit. I I don't know exactly how I wish they had done it because if they had paused it and had like live action people rolling dice, that would have been pretty weird. Yeah, that would be a bit strange. But I don't like that it's it's just animated, shit's happening, and it's it's just have, like watching have you ever any other Critical animated. Role, yeah. Like you've actually sat and watched episodes of Critical Role? Random episodes though. Yeah, okay, okay. I've like... never watched like the first season. So know, maybe maybe that's my really... homework is yeah, yeah they're four hour episodes they're so, four hour um, episodes so good luck catching up on bring a beverage ten thousand hours of uh, of footage from campaign one I thought two. we were bad with an hour and a half <laughs> like well it's, that's a, when we were discussing the Christmas edit and so for all of the people that have definitely totally watched the Christmas thing, which is everyone. Yeah, everybody. So of you, course they are. You Basement know dwellers have watched our Christmas special. <laughs> it's fucking almost. It, it's February when this shit comes out. They've I'm all gonna, watched it. I'm gonna fucking yeah. t-shirt that says that very <laughs> soon. <laughs> Perfect. Get me one too. Yeah. Um. So when we were discussing this, I was like, you know, I'll cut all the random crap out because there was a lot of like us discussing, and then there was certain bits where we were confused about how a role would work. Yeah. And yeah. so. I cut all that out and I was like, yep, that'll be the cut. We'll go with it. And Brady's like, nah, that's way too long. And <laughs> no, I, I liked like, it. Don't get me no, wrong. No, I thought it was so entertaining. I just thought <laughs> people aren't going to watch it. And that, that's fine. We're a very new channel to put out four <laughs> hours worth of content in one <laughs> fucking clip. Like, but, but, but that's the thing is like, I actually Googled a bunch of other D and D things, including critical role. And I couldn't find any that were multi-hour until I went to Critical World's actual um, YouTube page campaigns. and watched their campaigns, I was like, "Yeah, okay, yep, they, they do four-hour stints too." But yep. obviously, you know, they're good and they have production <laughs> value. Yeah, they also and they don't have just like get naked and cover themselves and die as well. Who even needs actors? We have one yeah, good we're camera. We're so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> we have one good camera. We have not enough mics for the amount of people we have. <laughs> Flawless. But um, on that note, we'd like to announce at some point in the future, we are probably going to do a Patreon. Yes. Um, and when we do it for all of you guys listening, it will be this transparent situation of it's not for income and the day it becomes for income, we will tell you. It's for gear that we're going to like probably let you guys vote on what you guys yeah. would Brady Not needs to like. get on the gear because he's looking a bit, you know, <laughs> unmuscular. You know, get on the gear, mate. <laughs> talk, talk about lights and that fourth extra mic that would come super handy with four people. <laughs> no, Brady just needs to get absolutely jacked. Yeah. <laughs> the only super one jacked. here who works out properly. Yeah, no. Well, there's, there's no point in me doing it. I just do like a bunch of push-ups each day. I just have giant fucking arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I'd it's look like a rock golem or some shit. <laughs> bearded soy boy over here. Um, no, so the only other thing I wanted to talk about, because I think that's the limit that I can go to when these guys haven't watched it, but like I said, it was a conceptual argument. I didn't like that it wasn't more D&D. &D. Well, like, so I do want to touch on this a little bit. Think okay. about all the... All the game adaptations to movie film whatever mm. like we've got halo coming out soon the tv series um if which i haven't... didn't know that have okay there will be a... yeah yeah i have i fucking love was it game. was it good i've heard amazing things so 
I am too scared to try League of Legends because I think the community is absolute garbage. They're fucking the most toxic internet gaming community. But apart from your dog. He, he's just in he's in Call of Duty chat, mate. He's telling people <laughs> all about what he's done to their mum. Um but Arcane as a show is fucking amazing. It is yeah, so okay. good. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna like watch I near I nearly installed League of Legends after playing it. Uh, after like watching, watching the series. And then I was like, yeah. no, nah, I'm still not that desperate. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so that's probably a good example of how it makes a game into a TV show. There is nothing that if you didn't know better, you would have no idea that that had anything to do with a video game, especially League of Legends. Is that The Witcher? Like, you know, you, you uh, recognize it because it's a game, but you don't recognize it be, like as Yeah, a but game. The Witcher is slightly different because it starts out as books. I think Yeah, but I've also read the books. Out, and yeah. I feel like when anything starts as a book, you end up with multiple adaptations that are fluid in their own medium. Oh, uh, as yeah. an aside, I did Google it, and Pokemon was a video game first. Was it really? Co-produ- yeah, co-produced uh, by Nintendo as Red and Blue. Yeah, well, um, I got the screwed. manga and anime came out very shortly afterwards because it was supposed to be a big media thing from the get go. Yeah, but makes yeah, sense. Makes sense. but that that's probably another good example. So I, right? I am is... the worst otaku ever. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. <fine. laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm king of the weebs now. Um, <laughs> Not a title I wanted to hold. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, but that that's probably a good example because the anime for Pokemon is nothing like the game. Yeah, the characters mm. are similar, stuff like One that. One but... season had a good crack at it, and it was amazing, and I don't know why they stopped. So on a fucking tangent, because that's what we do here now. <laughs> the Us Pokemon on tangents? X... Yeah, yeah, the Pokemon <laughs> X and Y, and then it's reason follow-up season X, Y, Z. Uh, it, followed... it was an anime that followed the game rules. So they had to so, take turns. <laughs> no, no, no. But they had. They kind of did actually. But they um. Uh, so obvious leveling was playing a point. So he couldn't just like evolve shit at a convenient moment. It happened when the level made sense. He actually trained things. He became a mentor to new trainers. Um, but probably most importantly, the Pokemon could only learn four moves, and he had to choose them at times. Oh, that's they evolved cool. in good. Mm moments not not moments that were like epic to the story sometimes that kind of occurred but it also made sense for where that pokemon happened to be up to instead of all the other anime seasons where it's just like through the power of friendship that reminds me of the (laughs) biggest gripe i had with the anime and the game series because everyone knows that Pokemon Yellow came out purely as a response to the anime because everyone's like 100 i want pikachu I hated yellow because Raichu is my favorite Pokemon and you can't get Raichu in that game. So, yeah. but if anyone's played it, your first gym is Pewter City, which is a rock gym. It's in so the fucked. TV, in the You're TV just sitting series, there with quick attack? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah that's... That or you've got to catch something else that can fight rock before Which is bugs on the way there. That's all yeah, you got. I, bugs I think you and quick get... attack in your electric Pokemon. Whereas in the TV show, um, something happen- happens to the sprinkler yeah. system and that so wet X and onyx. Y didn't do that. The only gripe I had with X and Y was also the thing I enjoyed. Uh, his main Pokemon, in- yeah, it's a weird thing to say, but you'll understand if you've watched it. His main Pokemon in that series uh, became a uh, Greninja, which is yeah, this, yeah. like ninja frog thing. But he found a way that was unique to him where that Pokemon could do, and this is the season X and Y did Mega Evolution. Yeah. It had a individual Mega Evolution type thing, but it wasn't Mega Evolution. They called it Bond Technique or something, where his Greninja would like go through it and then look a bit like Ash, like it had like his hair. Oh, okay, that's it was fucking weird, it was but, super okay. weird, Sounds and it had terrifying. a giant <laughs> had a giant shuriken on its back, and instead Slowly of like the becomes normal, Ash, and then Ash just like. <laughs> It kind of was away. like that, but it it worked really well in the anime. And uh, but it was stupid because they were like, 
Back in the past, if somebody grew a good enough bond with their Frogler, it would evolve and then they could do this with Greninja. I was like, well, why is it called Ash Greninja form then? Like, I remember when I was like 13 and I grew a good bond with my Frogler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, listen, listen. Okay, so dumping the anime D&D thing and then somehow we ended up on Pokemon. <laughs> We're going to go back to Pokemon. Uh, I don't think we've point. mentioned Skyrim enough. No, we still did. Yeah, no, <laughs> we literally <laughs> did. <laughs> um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, if you're in the West, Arceus, if you're not, and it's probably not even that. And I probably fucked it up, and someone's gonna butcher me. I like it a lot because they were like, Here's What a the review! Pokemon... I like it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they were like, Here's the Pokemon formula, throw it out the window which I loved because uh, I'm kind of done with doing the same thing over and over and over again with different shapes. Um, I, what I'm I totally found the that. most amusing <laughs> mm. was uh, the new Pokemon game is Isekai. Ah, uh, yes. Which is I the biggest change. This. Yeah, I tweeted it. So it's the biggest change to Pokemon games. So in every Pokemon game ever, you are for some reason a dadless fucking child. No, there was one where your dad like ran a gym, but in all the others, you're just living with your mum, and then you start your adventure with the local professor and clearly your mum and that professor are going to bang the moment you're out of the house. That's like <laughs> the, that's the joke internet meme about it because you're always just a kid and like your mum's like, get the joke. fuck that, out of here. That is legit. Like that's the whole professor's scheme. They're not trying yeah, yeah. to study. They're like, it's like they're giving you a chore list by giving you a national Pokedex. They're like, yeah. oh, you've got to catch 150 of these things. <laughs> I want you to take your fucking time. Get home late. <laughs> Real late, boy. <laughs> I got some talking to do. That's what happen- <laughs> <laughs> happens in every game, right? Um, yeah. This game, the beginning of it is like a golden light in the middle of the scene. Uh, and that's it. And it, it just says like, uh, I'm going to put you in this new world. And uh, if you catch all of these creatures, you can meet me again because it's based on uh, Arceus, which is like the god of Pokemon. He created Mew and then used that genetic material to make everything. Um, But yeah, so the newest Pokemon game is an Isekai, which if you're an anime fan, my mind was blown in three seconds. It didn't matter that they had literally reversed everything about the game. So instead of uh, going through long grass to find Pokemon, you go in long grass while they wander on the flat and you sneakily hide in the grass and throw a ball at them, which you actually have to aim. Which is, they 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 mm. took Legends of Zelda, like the Breath of the Wild game, as yep. far as I can fucking tell, the entire environment looks like Breath of the Wild. And then we're like, put Pokemon in it. Well, they probably just grabbed the graphics engine and some yeah. of the assets and stuff. And look, there are it's problems all the with same. it. Oh, there are it's... some significant frame rate problems. Um, but <laughs> it's a this leads it's me to an issue fun. I have with it's a Nintendo fun game, in general. Is like Nintendo always release under spec consoles, and I, I don't have an hmm. issue with that. Because it's a way they can re- release consoles for a reasonable price that target everyone. And that's totally cool. Yeah. I'm I'm all for that, right? But please fucking release your games on other fucking platforms. Like, if I could play that shit on PC right now, I would be... Like, I, I'd just be like, oh, I can't do podcasts. I uh, My legs fell off. <laughs> um, I, I'd be all amongst it. Like, I, I live for stuff I mean, like there's... this. There's, we, we don't do this on this show, but there's a lot of emulators for everything Nintendo. Yeah, except that uh, there are a lot of legalities around that that are, are best left unsaid. Mm. It, that and apply I, that to every fucking Twitch streamer. Like it's well, Twitch is a whole different kettle of fish. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot because, of like because you can play games challenges going on on Twitch where they're definitely not playing on a Game Boy. Okay, so there are a few things to keep in mind. Um, Emulation is technically legal if you own a physical copy of the game itself. How many do you reckon do? 
<laughs> I, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. But I have a giant collection of retro video games. Just trust me. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, like that, Jace, the law-abiding <laughs> citizen. <laughs> Do I look like a criminal to you guys? <laughs> I got one scribble for every life I've taken. <laughs> Ad advocating for an answer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like there's a whole thing around emulation. There's a lot of issues there, but like what I mean is like when we purchase games, let's say Call of Duty, for example, you can choose your platform based on what you own and depending on what you own, you might get wildly different results. You could get something like mad frame rates on a ps5 but mm. it might be a bit dog shit on a bit of a ps4 or something you know yeah i want to have that choice with nintendo games yeah i don't want to have to wait away. 30 years to be able to actually buy a yeah. console buy the game that's fair then get nintendo, an emulator that actually i mean works. it's a japanese company man like you, they're still using so faxes. sony so sony they have their hands a lot more in the west nintendo Nintendo is closer to the anime industry in where they're not entirely, for reasons that don't make sense to any of us, aware that their impact is extreme in the West. So I like, think they are because they literally... They're not aware of the okay. depth of it, though. Because, like, so Nintendo have done this thing recently in Japan that's been fucked because I really wanted to do this. Um, all of the, like, gaming cafes, have you heard of these, Jace? Yeah. Yeah, really cool thing. Like you go and sit and play different consoles at a place that serves food. Mm. It sounds like a fucking cool. awesome dream for gamers, <coughs> right? Like yeah. or anime fans or anything. Um, but it the Nintendo have been shutting them down systematically mm. by suing them into the fucking ground. <laughs> for no logical reason, because by owning these things, people are interested in your product, but and it's the same with YouTubers getting taken down for doing anime reviews. It, yeah. The, a lot of Japan's viewpoint on anyone using their property is like, no, we're not having it. Yeah, so I do sort of get that because I have heard about all sorts of issues with yeah. like um, Super Smash Brothers. Um, yeah. Like I'm surprised that exists stuff. in the first place. Yeah, like I couldn't play it as like a professional thing but there's people who are into it and like by all means fucking go for it they but love the shit out of that there game. are <laughs> there are a lot of like technical and copyright related difficulties that they have had in the past um but the thing to also remember is that nintendo quite literally set up nintendo of america to support the entertainment system in the 80s to then take over the West. So they very well have to know that they have an impact. Yeah. They also sold the largest amount of consoles in the 360 PS3 era. Mm. Like they, they beat both those consoles with the Wii. That's pretty wild. So they, not they know. by that by hitting the family market. But yeah, I mean, you say they know, but they might know and disregard it as a fluke. I, I, I don't really get how that whole mindset but they, works. They also, they also killed Sega. Yeah, they did. It was it Nintendo sucks. and Sega. Sega had um, Australia and Europe. Yeah. Or like the PAL regions. Nintendo had Japan, or well, most of Japan and America and managed to win with just that. And yeah. once PlayStation came out, Sega just couldn't keep up. Rush of bad decisions and shit too. No, that's but, exactly right. Yeah. Some but, pretty like, terrible decisions. But ultimately... Flash of GameCube, Flash of Dreamcast. <laughs> <laughs> the Dreamcast was ahead of its time, man. Yeah, I agree on both of those consoles, to be but honest. But yeah, like, they, just they, they were both ahead of their time, but they yeah. were both awful in their own They respects. were pretty whack. They were trying the Nintendo thing, yeah. but they just went too hard. <laughs> too hard but yeah so like nintendo are fully aware but i think it's purely because they can control their proprietary licenses by keeping it on their platform and yeah. that's sort of fair enough but it doesn't stop it annoying the living fuck out of me 
That's what I mean. That's that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know necessarily the reason for. I'm speculating as best. Terrible I can. speculation. <laughs> Do you have better? Yes, I just did it. Yeah, he just did it. He just like a week and a half. Well, seems better. Right. But so yeah, so yes. that's my two things anyway. <laughs> that's my uh, anime meets D and D, anime meets gaming, and uh, yeah. definitely watch uh, Vox Machina. If yeah, I will uh, once the whole season's out. Dweller, yeah, because <laughs> Jace is a weird fuck who needs to binge things. He can't. I, I literally watched the nearly the entire season of My Name today. Uh, it's a Netflix show, fantastic show. But I nearly like I watched about six episodes in a day. Yeah, cool. Because I just have uh, it running while I work. It's good. So yeah, Vox Mac and I definitely watch it, people. Um, Legends of Arceus, Arceus, whichever weird way you want to go. Pretty fun. I think it it mixes up the formula well. I've seen a lot of people complaining about it online, but I've seen equally as many people going, yeah, good on you. You did something different. I like that it's different, and I literally, every time I put it down, I'm a bit sad that I can't keep playing. So that, to me, is a win for any game. Hmm. That's like yeah. the mark of... Awesome damn i have to go to bed to be a responsible adult and i wish i didn't that that to me is like when i start breaking those boundaries oh half an hour more is okay half an hour more is okay oh no half an hour more is not okay those are like that's a good game to me and that's how i felt with this game so that's that's yeah. where i'm gonna go like so, I, Justin, I think yeah. oh, i was gonna say yeah. i i think when it comes to pokemon they've needed to break the formula because 100%. they've spent so long doing the same thing, but all they keep doing is upgrade the graphics and add a whole bunch of crap that nobody wants. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. want to sit there and brush my Pokemon after a battle so they'll evolve. Yeah. Like, if so I wanted I... that, I would get Nintendo. <laughs> so, 100%. <laughs> I also hated... I didn't hate Mega Evolution. I thought Mega Evolution was kind of cool. I what can take I it hated, all that. I hated Z-Moves in Sun and Moon. Thought that yeah, was shit. I vaguely remember it. I hated Moon. And then in Sword and Shield, is it Shield and Sword, yeah. uh, I the gameplay was kind of fun. They, they they had a go. You had diagonal movement. It was the first properly designed for Switch. That was all good. But the Dynamaxing your Pokemon. So basically, Justin, if you haven't played this, mm. um, you could if you were on the right spot in the fucking environment your Pokemon could become gigantic for what? three turns of the turn-based system. Right. And Fine. all of their attacks would get cranked like 40%. It looked okay. kind of cool the first did time I you did it. You're like, wow, this is hilarious. Open field yeah, yeah. That suddenly fucking huge. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you're like, this is hilarious. My Pikachu is five stories high. And then the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, tenth, one hundredth, yeah. battle you're in you're like i don't I have care. to do this to win but now it's a hundred percent like it just yeah i just yeah. didn't care dynamaxing sucked uh yeah z moves in sun and moon with the fucking weird dance moves didn't care um but yeah. mega revolution that wasn't bad i x and y to me not just the best anime probably the best game till arceus i also like that arceus is set in the past it's okay. quite fun. It's Edo era Japan with like these, and you can craft. It's really uh, RPG style. You make Pokeballs instead of buying. You can buy them, but you can make them by getting the ingredients to make them, which is very RPG. I kind of like that they are fully mixing up the formula. And can I'll you like fail there. the crafting and just fucking yeet a broken ass Pokeball? <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't work. You just no, kill the Pikachu. <laughs> kill the so Pikachu far, with a rock. I've like, <laughs> you, you can miss. And uh, if the Pokemon's agitated, you can throw it at it. And it's just like, donk. <laughs> it's the ground. <laughs> and then it fucking attacks you with like any number of random shit. There's like a whole meme already about uh, Snorlax. I don't know if you've seen this. There's this Snorlax that, uh, if it's agitated, it's an alpha Pokemon, which is a whole thing they've added in this thing. It'll like yeet off the screen because it's used <laughs> an attack. And it's just so funny because Snorlax is so big already. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Nice. What do you got um, for us, Justin? 
Um, so been pretty busy this week doing a bit of crafting and also a couple of uh, some old Did players it fail? of mine. Did you nah, get man. Pikachu? <laughs> no, his dog's <laughs> dead though. <laughs> You just you did a rock at his dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, killed my child and dog. Um, <laughs> didn't work either side. I decided that. I don't know. Um, yeah, and I had a couple of um, uh, visitors from an old campaign come down and they gave me a present for running a campaign for them a little while back, which was kind of cool. That's cute. So they gifted me a giant, which uh, came in this fancy little box here. And you can oh, find this shit. at sort of Zing and... Um, those sort of stores here in Australia, but uh, elsewhere, I'm sure as well. But um, this guy is fucking huge. So that is badass. He is we'll get pretty Brady big. to put a proper sure photo of it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just wanted to show him like the sheer size of like you know like yeah yeah it's bigger Justin, than his moon ass head. head. Yeah, yeah. Justin has tiny moon. ass hands, so, but I promise you, that's a genuinely large figure. She big. Yeah. So um, it's a massive giant, she? and well, he actually, and well, yeah, you can't see what's under the skirt. Yeah, I shouldn't put a label on things. That's what I. Yeah, you're a terrible yeah. person. So did that, you was, just that was a great surprise. That I, figure's I, gender. No, I think <laughs> you did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, so damn, that was I a really did. cool. That was a really cool gift from uh, from some players that I haven't seen in a while. So thanks to um, to Brant and to Scotty for coming down. So that was that, awesome. That kind of comes back to your thing, Brady. Loving your DM. <laughs> <laughs> i was like where are you going with this yeah. i was nice to justin one time why is this yep. haunting me yep because pretty nice. much everything's going to haunt you yep the moment you do anything nice or say anything it's coming back <laughs> remember that time brady spoke <laughs> what, a <fucking laughs> idiot. what a dick <laughs> even my dog um, thinks he's a dickhead yeah and then on top of that i've just been doing a lot of crafting for uh just because that's what i do so i've been making houses this week and this is just purely out of some some foam and cutting some some slate tiles for the roof and that sort of thing. And I've just made a big pile of these up, which has been great. Super productive week. And I uh, mowed Brady's lawn. On, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to talk about that, but if you want to bring it up, this was hilarious, right? So we're having this group chat and we're, we're geeks, or at least Jason and I are apparently proper geeks because we're like, how garbage are we at like taking care of lawns and we're sharing pictures and then Justin just messages me and he's like, uh, that gives me anxiety. I'll be there in 15. Yeah. And I'm like, cause like they're not sharing pictures of like, you know, longish lawn, like above the, you know, the ankle we're talking like knee high lawn. Yeah. Because like, I have other shit to do, but for, for a month. it was great because <laughs> like I did that lawn after talking to you guys for a bit. And I got your message. I was like, that's heaps funny. Justin's hilarious. I had a shower, got all the grass off me, <laughs> got into like basically pajama pants and was chilling for the next like two hours. And then I saw your car drive up and I was like, oh, fuck, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> well, he was clearly kidding about the 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was two hours later. No, I was like, yeah, it was like 20 minutes later. I'd rock up, grab the, uh, the mower out and... Though to be three, fair, three hours later we weren't even half done. Justin is a super nice dude because he came and mowed my lawn when I first moved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justin so, just likes cutting grass. Like I, I, I want to <laughs> thank you, but I also want to make fun of you. This is a weird situation. I'm so <laughs> grateful because, well, like, like Justin, my dog was getting lost. It was pretty long. <laughs> you just but, need to upgrade to a Great Dane, like I do. Like you can't lose a Great Dane in long taller. grass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just bigger dog. See, that's why Justin mows his lawn so much. If his lawn got ankle, dog. Eye, his dog's gone. <laughs> Fantastic. I love ripping on Justin's not dog. I, no, Panda's great. I like a mowed lawn. It's great. I mow my lawn every week on one, on the setting of one. So like literally the lowest setting you can, and it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so today on Basement Discourse, your geeky subject podcast, we're going to talk about lawn maintenance oh and being oh a my real God. man. I have the best yes. idea. I'm going to, at some point when I actually have money, buy Justin a copy of Lawnmower Simulator. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you will complete bad. him. That's, like, that's way better than, like, VR porn for Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's there, like, though. come to bed. And he's like, shut up, I'm mowing a lawn. 
I've just got like my catcher from my lawnmower sitting next to me, and every now and then I like get my face in there. And, yeah. <laughs> Immersion. Why is it every time I make a weird <laughs> joke about you, you take it 50 steps apart? You gotta. You gotta, you gotta get gotta, weird. Gotta. You gotta get real fucking weird on this show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, grass catches in your face is the height of weird for me. Hey, if if that's where they need to go, that's where they need to go. Like, that's where Elden Ring should have went, but they, you know, can't get it. <laughs> that's that real, they were real too world scared immersion. to get into real fetish. How dare they? You get the pre order copy, they give you a free fucking lawnmower catcher I, half I, grass. I fucking guarantee you though there's one thing that they wouldn't have forgotten to put in there and that'll be catching fucking fish i bet you, <laughs> you can catch a fucking fish i guarantee it it'll be the first Our thing you're doing performing as episode that justin wants to uh do a call back to <laughs> yeah well you know we haven't spoken about free guy in a while so we may as well bring up fishing no fuck <laughs> uh, but anyway i think that about rounds us up for the night doesn't it that's probably okay. it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, um, that's us for the night. Go check us out on Twitter, YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram. Where else are we? We've got a Discord. We've got a Discord. We do. Um, what else do we have? Audios. Oh, yeah, Spotify, um, Apple Music, if you want to, or Apple, is it Apple Podcasts? I don't know. I don't use it. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I owned, like, an iPod, like, four years ago and that's pretty much the extent of my apple work i owned an i river because i didn't want to get i remember iTunes. the i river <laughs> I, I still have that fucking i river fuck yes yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> uh, but anyway yeah check us out on all the socials and stuff um check out brady's anxiety in his face and um <laughs> we'll catch you all on the next one Mwah. i love that you're all blue kisses and that's great <laughs>